sportscast in the next hour, but for this moment, we have a special guest. Three weeks ago, Scripps Ranch alumnus Jack Greener accomplished his goal of walking across the stage to get his diploma from San Diego State University. The reason for that goal? Well, it was just six months back that Jack fractured his C4 and C5 vertebrae during a jiu-jitsu training session, and even after a spinal fusion surgery, there was no true promise that he could walk again, but now Jack has walked across the stage and walked right here to KUSI Studios. First off, thank you so very much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Can you me. just start by talking about what happened to you that day and how the journey has unfolded to get you to where you are now? Yeah, so it was just like a day like any other. Um, it was a Thursday. I had went to go get coffee, had to get some work done in the morning, and I was like, hey, like, let's go attend the new jiu-jitsu class, and last 10 minutes of class, I just... The accident happened, and here we are six months later. <laughs> so you, you're a surfer, mixed martial artist, you wrestled, you played lacrosse at Scripps Ranch. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the threat of danger is always out there, but now that you're facing it, I'm assuming you're the kind of guy that doesn't make you shy away from getting back in there. Your goal now is, I want to be where the action is. Yeah, so I do have goals to get back to hiking and summiting mountains. My biggest goal is by next year to summit Mount Whitney, which I had planned to do this year, had, not, had my accident not happen. Um, as far as jiu-jitsu and martial arts, I don't think I'll be able to get back to that due to the amount of like metal in my neck. But um, I do plan to get back to surfing and hiking full time. Can you talk a little bit about what the process has been like to get you to where you can walk now? So initially, I was fully paralyzed from the neck down. Um, I hit the mats and I just lost all sensation. And that's when we knew something was wrong. Um, I then was in the ICU for two and a half weeks at Scripps La Jolla. And from there, we had a representative from Craig Hospital fly out from Denver to San Diego, gave us the pitch on why I should go to that hospital for rehab, and then that just started the journey. It was, uh, it got car I got flown out there on a private medical jet um, after two and a half weeks, and then started rehab immediately. They got me a chair, they got me set up, they got me, you know, my therapist, occupational therapist, physical therapist, nurses, all hyper concentrated on my recovery and then I spent four months there uh, doing my recovery. When you think to all the folks that you know back at Scripps Ranch in that community and the kids around the county, what do you want them to know from what you've been through for how they go about their lives? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, miracles do really happen and when you have a solid support system um, with family, with friends, with nursing staff, anything truly is possible, and, and miracles do really happen. What was it like to walk across that stage a couple weeks ago? Man, I was like, I was so emotional about it leading up to the days, uh, up to the graduation, and then when I walked across that stage, it was like, I had my, my foot brace on, but I didn't use any sort of crutches or anything, and it felt, I mean, that's what life is all about, peak moments, right? So... That was definitely a peak moment. Absolutely. Jack, can't thank you enough for coming in. Thank you so much. We're going to follow you in your recovery. It's great to have you here. Back to you guys.